Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Petrito, and today I have Evan and Caitlin in the shop and they're gonna help me make these little vintage Christmas tree candle holders. Check it. I have brought my friends Evan and Caitlin here. I also have my wife Kelly, and today we're going to make this iconic Christmas tree candle thing. I grew up with these things in the house, and today we're gonna recreate it with some modern tools. You may remember in the past, I've never done a successful resin pour. Oh, son of a. That was a total failure. So that's why I brought these experts mm -hmm. to help us with this project. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw up this Christmas tree. We're gonna go cut it out over on the laser and then I'm gonna have Evan and Caitlin help us pour the colorful resins. Here we go. So the very first thing I am doing is I'm taking this image and then I'm going to trace it out in Illustrator. So as I'm tracing this out, I'm being really sloppy because this pewter or metal, whatever they're using, it's just, it's very organic shaped. And so I am not being too careful with my trace. So we're gonna cut this guy out with the laser and then these little pieces will be filled with different colors of epoxy. And then we're going to have these little tea light candles behind it. So I have my first piece cut out on the laser and the second piece is going to go on top of this. This is going to show, this is also going to hold the resin. This is some black acrylic. Just gonna throw it in the laser. Acrylic is one of the stinkiest things to cut. Probably the second stinkiest, number one, is leather. Yes. Oh, leather is so awful. Bad. Leather. It's so bad. It's, it's the worst. It's worse. Mm. Then acrylic. Wood smells good. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Why is that so good? Oh, perfect. Respect, Respect the, the acrylic. acrylic. So this is black acrylic and this paper comes off. This is also a satisfying move. This will go on top of Whoa. that. We'll, we'll glue that on there with some acrylic glue. And then we're going to pour colored resin in there. And then Evan came up with a cool little idea where this fits into a little base. And then we can put our candle. He's pointing up. Was it supposed to be pointing up? <laughs> yeah, I, think, I don't think it was aimed at the things. Oh, it wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> All right. So normally I have Dan here with me. Blame it on Dan. Blame it on Dan. <laughs> Dan, where are you? Yeah, Dan Ch is slacking at his job. Yes. Magic acrylic glue it is a permanent bond. I don't know what my working time is. If you know, let me know in the comments <laughs> so I don't screw this up. So we did go ahead and cut up a second one. This time, we learned a good lesson. We left the paper on here, so if we get any schmutz or whatever, the paper will peel right off and we'll have a nice, beautiful, shiny surface where we got a little bit of glue on there. And this one's different too, because it's fully clear, not frosted, oh, so it'll be yeah. interesting to see which one is better. Yeah, so, with the light shining through. A little bit of experimentation. So, And then on one of them, we're going to use pigmented dyes, is that correct? Yes. Yep. Oh, don't spill these. <laughs> <laughs> And then on the other one, we're going to use alcohol-based dyes. So it'll be a fun little experiment. All right, what is the first thing we need to do? Mix up the resin. So while Evan is preparing our epoxy mix here, I just wanna say, if you wanna learn more about epoxy and resin and all this stuff, I'm gonna send you over to their channel. They know a lot more than I do about this. And we're just gonna kinda of fly through, have fun, because once we, once we mix, we're, we're on a time limit, we're right? Going, yeah. It's go yeah. time. It's go time. So the big batch of resin is all done. We're gonna transfer it to little resins. The spoon is already in there. <sighs> that was my fault. I, I did that. <laughs> Kaylin! <laughs> Chuck! <laughs> Chuck did Wait, that. Wait, are you Chuck? This much resin, this much dye. Which is, I mean, I'm just making this up, but this is what we do. <laughs>
If you are anything like me, you're not one to go shopping for clothes, but yet you still want to look good. I've got the perfect solution for you. My friends at Bombfell have got your back. Everything is fully personalized and handpicked by a stylist, not a computer algorithm, a real human being who understands what you want. You get to try on your handpicked clothes in the convenience of your own workshop and you get a free preview before it's sent to you. Free shipping and free returns. You tell Baumfell your measurements, your style preferences, and budget. You say what you'd like in your order, and then you get an email of your stylist picks, and you've got 48 hours to change or cancel. Once you get your package, you have seven days to try everything on. You send back what you don't want, and then you're charged for what you keep. Check this out. Keep more, get more. If you keep four or more items, you get 20% off. If you keep three or more items, you get 15% off. Two or more items, 10% off. For real, the whole thing is completely flexible when you want and you can cancel or pause at any time. My stylist freaking nailed it, completely picked up on my look and followed up with me to hear my thoughts. There was no guilt and no pressure. Crazy convenient and high quality. $25 off if you visit bombfell.com slash make something. I would like to thank Bombfell and I would like to thank you for listening and understanding that companies like Bombfell support independent creators like me and allow me to make free content that we can all share in. Now let's get back to the project. CA glue for a clamp because it dries real fast and then wood glue for strength because it dries real strong and we're just going to glue this on this way glue on this to the back look at that that is pop right in there well there it is that was super fun i want to thank evan and caitlin for coming to snowy Ohio and helping <laughs> make these beautiful vintage candle holders. We had these growing up as a kid and I thought, hey, this would be fun. This would be a great first time use of, of epoxy because I've never had a successful epoxy pour. <laughs> the resin pigments. And then this one had alcohol, the alcohol, the alcohol inks. inks. And they allow different amount of light coming through, but also this one has the clear back and that one has the frosted back. So we don't know which one is actually like diffusing the, the light a little bit better, but hey. <laughs> and then these guys, these little fake candle things, they came from my local home center and they just friction fit into the back. Those were perfect. Yeah, right? that was such a great idea. That was your idea. They have another video over on their channel where the four of us do Christmas ornaments mm -hmm. and yeah. we're doing all kinds of crazy fun things. I highly encourage you to go check that out. Please subscribe to their channel if you don't already. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, do you have a channel? I do not. Not yet. Kelly, not yet. start a channel. <laughs> <laughs> Links to all the stuff that we use in this project will be down below. Link in the D. The D stands for description. Hope everybody has a merry, happy holidays, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. As always, be fun. Be fun. <laughs> <laughs> As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. something. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs>